What's up everybody? It's Crypto Muscle coming back to you with another YouTube video. And as you can see, the Moonberg platform is crumbling as we speak. They're not paying any their their plan is to not pay any more, not do anything else with this existing platform. So this is a public service announcement about the moon signals, the moon phones, you know, the the bots that they have, you know, because this is all about them moving everything to Hackbert now. Hackbert. So Moonberg, you know, has a bunch of hacks that are in it. If you know what that means, but uh, uh, no, nah, I wouldn't. I shouldn't say that. That's that's just being too mean. But there's a hack that's running it. There's a hack admin, Crypto Mad, and uh, yeah. So once again, we're back to zero. Everything again, and promises not fulfilled with their moon phones. They keep saying moon phone, moon phone, moon phone, and look at it. Still no moon phones. Not even one moon phone. Why don't you just throw out one moon phone, you know, just to to shut up a lot of people out there, including me. But because you're not doing that, that means there's no moon phone in existence. They're locked away in the Arkham Secure Asylum in Gotham City. So let's go. Oh, yeah. So, this platform is dead. Nothing even matters on the platform. They, they've closed the order book. They say that um, a long time ago. That's why there's been no orders gone out because they're, the Tobias bot's not buying nothing anymore. He said he's done buying up everything. And there's been no demand for it. So, no one's buying it. No demand. And the only way you can sell your moon coins from your, whether you have it in your platform here, or I'm sorry, in your dashboard, or your moon bot, they say it is to send it over to the Bit Depository. But the Bit Depository has been on audit for like three to four weeks now. They say they're almost done, but they keep saying that. Uh, I guess the the keyword in the token crypto space is soon, right? That it's coming soon. So. Whatever that may, that means. Um, but yeah, this is over. You know, I guess people will see their moon bot amounts here. Uh, let me see, close that off. Yeah, so let's see. If I was to click moon bot, it will probably kick me out of the platform because uh, I've been logged in it for a little while. Yeah, but it's okay. Uh, it doesn't matter anyways. Um, let me just move on here. Oh yeah, shadow trading. That was a disaster. Because you had supposedly what, up to four traders. The first two you set up. Um, took the money and left. And they all have their stories about it. Uh, Moonbird didn't vet anybody. And so those first two traders took the money and left. One of them, notably Beaky, Crypto Beaky or Beaky Crypto, whatever, Beaky. So you had that guy. Um, and then you had two traders left, Mo Trader and Crypto Clover. And I don't know about you know, Mo Trader. They say he's good, whatever. I don't know. They seem to average. And then, you know, you have Crypto Clover, he's a novice as a trader, but he's considered a shadow trader. So, you know, to have a, a novice trader that you want to have a shadow to shadow trade off of, where you can't really trust, I mean, look at the prices here. I mean, that's crazy. All right, 
two hundred to a thousand. I don't I don't know why it says monthly, monthly, monthly unless they took off some script or whatever here. It says the monthly fee describe depends on your shadow trader. The license fee. So uh yeah. <laughs> Some hefty uh, amounts here for shadow trading off of Mo Trader or, or Clover. And then, on top of that, they haven't been paying their traders anyways. So, I know that Clover's been posting about not being paid and where's his money. So, I mean, I don't know how much that can be because, I mean, how much can you really make shadow trading off of Moonberg, you know? And all that. So, moving on here. Now... We all know that they're going into this now. They're all in on this thing. Moonberg is over. So, you know, I went over what this is about and how this thing works. This is their plan is to use this mining equipment. And I'll show you a little bit here. This is what they say. These are steps to join. And this is the features of this thing here. 5% um, in, 5% out on deposit and withdrawals. ERC-20, so it's Ethereum. 9 million circulating supply. And the mining rewards. Mining pool smart contract. So you got all that. So now let's go into what's being talked about in the Discord here. So there are only four options to earn. Uh, mining rewards in ETH, deposit and withdrawal fee split in Hackbird coins, referral bonuses, coin value. I, I don't know what the demand would be for Hackbird. I can't see that being any different than Moonberg. It could be worse because nobody's even heard of Hackbird. And, you know, there's no advertising or nothing on it right now. They said the only trading pair they're going to be doing with Hackbird at the moment is going to be in their Bit Depository, which is not even open. So good luck with that terms of getting value uh, you have two options to lose with the Hackbird coin deposits and value fees you know I mean yeah it's obvious I mean you pay five in five out percent that is and coin value yep coin value because nobody's going to buy Hackbird it's going to be the same thing again that they're going to run into a wall with is that nobody cares about Moonbird coins just as much as nobody's going to care about Hackbird coins so Nobody can sell you how much rewards. Nobody can give you any guarantee. But they did promise a stable value back in Moonberg and that it's never going to fall under a dollar. So now they're saying, you know, oh, it can't be a guarantee. The only guarantee is the early you join is netter than late join. So I guess they're saying better. So that was what was Tobias' uh, latest post there. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of debating in the, in this thing here. You know, like, how do you determine the hack coin value? Um, you know, is this really real 25% fee to get out of the moon bot? Yes, they're going to charge a 25% fee if you want to get out of your moon bots. That's a hefty fee. Um... Yeah, what value for hack? You know, right now it's one to one with Mooncoin, which Mooncoin right now means nothing. It means zero. Uh, what Tobias is saying is that in the smart contract, the price doesn't matter because it's based on the coin numbers. If the mining rewards are good and more people like to get the coin to join, and more people join, the price will increase normally. If the mining rewards are low, not so much people will like to join or no one and the price is low. So I guess they're trying he's trying to say that the price is gonna be based on uh supply and demand in a sense of uh going into this whole smart contract. But we all know what's happening with the ETH DAPs. I did a video on that. Everybody's dumping on ETH DAPs right now, everybody's trying to leave. How's this any better than Gandhiji or, you know, Diamond Dividends, for example? Those are like two stable ones. How's this any better? How, well, I don't even know if, if there's going to be a, 
is there even is is it even worth having a back door built into this thing for them to drain out the moon coins or whatever hack coins because there's no value to them right and I, to me they're saying that they're cranking out eth uh profits using the miners but I don't I just don't see where that's coming from. I, I just don't get it, you know. Tell me where they're going to get the ETH from because is this coming out of Tobias pocket again? I I don't I don't get where it's coming from. Total supply is the same as the moon coins and based on smart contract. All right, so we got that. And for you, question, if no one likes to buy a coin and you can't exchange it like all coins, then you can just use it for the usage. Is all crypto coins the same? Okay. So, like I said here, uh, they're, they're saying that with this miner, this is what the profit's going to be cranked out right here based on this exchange rate here right now uh, bitcoin is at 10,000 i mean it's hard to believe the numbers until you actually see it i just don't see it as well cuz miners don't make money How, what makes this any different because there's no proof that they're going to have miners there's no proof of mining farms there's no proof of anything it could just be another as tiwi's favorite go miner you know where you're just posting numbers and fake electricity rates and all that but there's no proof of anything so uh let's see here oh yeah so you know <laughs> This guy's barely checking in. Where did all of the moon profits stop since 2019, uh, November? And look at this. They're still saying they're recovering from the collapse back in, you know, when they dropped 6,000 just for like a week and then it went back to 7, 8, 9, now 10, you know, which is a bunch of bull. They just don't want to pay any more moon coins because they don't want to pay any more out of their pocket to, to get it back. I guess in a sense they're trying to be legit in terms of them buying back the coins, you know, because in good faith they're trying to help people out in that regard, but it's just plain, I don't know, I don't want to say stupid, but it is. I mean, you know, there's no demand, so you're buying back the moon coins to make it look like it's real and it's good, you know, which doesn't make sense. So, I don't know, I just don't get that either. So, all you can do right now, it's in the holding pattern, but it's shifting. You know, every, everything is going over into this whole Hackberg mining. It's, Moonberg's done. So, we'll see what happens as I will continue to stay on top of all this. That's all I could tell you right now. I thought I saw something else that they said here uh those of you that have been asking terms and conditions yes it is already in preparation but you can use as terms and conditions also the smart contract until it is live because all it's coded into contract what could be happens okay that's what he says right here um Let's see how will the power increase with the arrival of new coins and on the contract whether there will be any table on property mining from all miners. All right, that's uh, all this minor BS. Um, I I just I just can't believe it because there's been there's been no proof of anything when it came to mining platforms to this day. I haven't seen any anything with any proof. You know they're gonna have like a a, a fake camera with a 24 hour loop, so it makes it look like there's a visual of something. If they're going to provide anything. They said they're going to go out there and show you. But I doubt that too. So uh, yeah. Comment down below. This is the latest on Moonberg Hackberg. And uh, other than that. 
I'll see you in the next one.